Good morning and welcome to worship here today. It's good to see all of you here. These young folks up here look make me look so much better, so much better up here. It's good to see our band here and they'll be playing for us in just a moment. I'll lift up a few announcements. Please remember the post office that's open in the back of the church there. Uh, please uh, deliver your cards and also pick up cards there. If there's somebody that maybe is not able to get out and get their cards and they live near you or you plan a visit, please go by, pick up those cards and take those along. <clears throat> so please, please remember that. The beautiful flowers on the altar at the foot of the cross are given to the glory of God and in loving memory of Roland Hussey by his loving family, Hazel, Tony, and Margaret Hussey. We appreciate those beautiful flowers. Also, the beautiful flowers here on the altar in front of the band. Uh, these flowers on the rail are given in loving memory of Carolyn Hussey. We thank <coughs> Carolyn's family for sharing these and continue to hold each of them in our prayers. So please continue to remember Carolyn's family and we thank them for the beautiful flowers for us to enjoy. Uh, please remember tonight our youth and children's program uh, this evening, it starts at 6 o'clock. <clears throat> the bulletin says that there'll be cookies before. Those cookies are going to be after, after the service tonight. So please remember that. <clears throat> and also, we still need some canned food items. The luminary service will be here on, on Christmas Eve from 6 until 8. Um, excuse me, the communion will be from 6 to 7.30 the youth will be doing the luminaries, and they'll be using those canned food items for the luminaries. So please remember that. They Christmas caroling. Tonight. They can bring them tonight. Yes, bring those canned food items tonight. You can put them into the, the lobby in the Family Life Center. So bring those cans tonight. Uh, please uh, remember also the Christmas caroling on Wednesday evening. If you have somebody that you would like for us to visit, Please get that name to me um, tonight or today. New Year's uh, Eve, uh, please remember uh, the Family Life Center is going to be open, uh, joining at 7 o'clock. Bring a snack and a game. Uh, you can even bring a pillow, they said. They must be thinking some old folks like me are going to show up to take a nap so that they'll be ready to ring in the new year. So please remember that on New Year's Eve. Who had a birthday in this crowd? Birthdays this week? Janelle had a birthday. Behind you. Pam had a birthday. Anybody else? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, God bless you. Thank you, Pam. Janelle. Anniversaries? Everybody getting married at Christmas. Man. Doretha, how many years? 41. 41. Wonderful. Good years. Yes, amen. Miss Kim? 34. 34 good years. Tracy? 22. 22. Mary? I think it's 44, but I'm not sure. <laughs> you can check with David. Yeah. Yeah. Let's give them all a round of applause. Congratulations. <laughs> Please remember that next Sunday, on Christmas Day, our service will start at 11 o'clock. 11 o'clock next Sunday here at the church. Uh, we have a gift to the church. Uh, to the to Smyrna Church, a donation in remember in memory of Bill Garner by Janelle and her family, and we finally remember Bill today. This was one of those Sundays that Bill really looked forward to in singing the uh, Christmas cantata. Uh, Why the Nativity by David Jeremiah will be shown here on Sunday, January the eighth. Uh, this is a documentary film uh, talking about the nativity. Uh, this movie will uh, start at 9.30 in the sanctuary. 9.30 
in the sanctuary. Uh, we appreciate Mike and Patsy Garner for sponsoring this. Again, that Sunday, January the 8th, starting at 9.30 here in the sanctuary. Are there other um, announcements that we need to lift up before we enjoy the band? All right, thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 
We'll stand together and <clears throat> sing number 239. We'll sing two verses. 239. Today we'll be lighting the fourth advent candle. Look, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. When Joseph awoke from sleep, he did as the angel of the Lord commanded him. He took her as his wife, but had no marital relations with her until she had borne a son, and he named him Jesus. Matthew 1, 23 through 25. We light these candles, the candle of joyous hope, of proclaimed peace, of deep everlasting joy, and today a presence that speaks of love as a sign that no matter our circumstance, we know we are not alone.
Advent candles, such a beautiful time of the year. We come, and this is a very special Sunday as we have the cantata in a few moments. We're so excited about that. And they have so much wonderful music already. Uh, that's just a great thing to see that talent among our young people. And look forward to the Christmas play and all the other events about to take place this very special week. Uh, we invite you to come to our communion on Christmas Eve from 6 through 7.30. I look forward to just being with you. That's a floating communion, so you can come and drop in. I'll be here, and we'll have communion together. Who has, uh, well, a joy to share this morning? Something <coughs> wonderful you want to share with the body of Christ? I'm very thankful for all of our children, and we hope you'll come tonight and enjoy them, and for our youth who participated today, and for them who will be here tonight. But we're just blessed, so blessed in this church. Amen. Amen. Well, it's has a joy to share this morning. Amen. Yes. Thankful uh, that my daughter graduated from out of state yesterday. Well, and, congratulations. Uh, everything went very well and uh, had a great weekend, and we were able to travel back safely this morning to be able to be here at church again. Okay. That's great. All the graduations this time of year. Uh, certainly want to lift up each one and celebrate all they worked hard for, and they have a prosperous future. Uh, who has a concern as we gather here this morning, someone to lift up? We have many. We have all right family. Okay. We pray for those who are lonely in, a, uh, in this holiday season, that the Lord may bless them. Yes. Let us go to the Lord in prayer. Dear Lord, as we gather here on this fourth Sunday of Advent, we thank you for the candles that are lit and the celebration of the Christian message on this holy holiday. These Sundays that precede the birth of the Christ child are in preparation for your coming again for the kingdom of God that is at hand. Lord, the cantata today will be a blessing as it lifts up our hearts let us listen in the music and through the music to hear the voice of God and to know the presence of God in this church of God. Lord, we thank you for these people and each and every family that is here today. For many have traveled and are together again. We uh, just pray a special blessing this week and all the celebrations and then this coming Sunday on the holy day of Christmas. Lord, we ask you bless the needs that are present in our body, for there are many. We keep not only a prayer list, but a heart list, and pray that we are able to do all we can do to show the love of Christ in our lives. Lord, we ask that you bless our time together. In Jesus' sweet name we pray. Now let us pray as Christ taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Now we we'll receive our morning tithes and offerings, our gifts return. To God.
just a moment. We're going to get things ready here. Uh, anybody got a joy that you want to share while we're moving about? Somebody ready for Christmas?
I love Christmas, don't you? I love singing songs that tell the Christmas story and candlelight Christmas Eve services. I love riding around and seeing how the neighbors have covered their houses with lights and how about unpacking special ornaments year after year, finding just the right place for them on the tree. I love homemade Christmas cookies and candy and I'll admit it, I love Christmas presents, both giving them and getting them. Maybe it's because Christmas really is all about giving. It's about God giving a gift that has brought joy to the world ever since. seem like much of a gift. The angel's amazing words to Mary that she would have a child. She couldn't wrap her mind around him. This could happen. Joseph was confused and hurt, but then obedient to the angel's instructions. Then came the long journey, the crowded inn, and the stable. No, it didn't seem like much of a gift at first. Oh, but what a gift to be there when God himself came as a precious little baby 
a new star shone down and wrapped the whole scene in a holy light. The first Christmas gift the world had ever known. In the hills near Bethlehem, some average guys were just doing their job one night when they were nearly frightened to death by a host of angels. After scrambling off to Bethlehem, stumbling into the dark stable, and coming face to face with the Messiah, these ordinary shepherds recognized that they were in the presence of God's glory 
what else was there to do but bow and worship? first baby, unexpected to be sure, unbelievable in how and why he came, and unimaginable in his humility. Under ordinary circumstances, he might have even been unwanted. Yet that night in Bethlehem, Mary cradled him close and searched his tiny face. In that moment, she was overwhelmed with love for the gift she had received.
Jesus, our Messiah, my deliverer, my baby boy, the air I breathe. Isn't he beautiful, beautiful, isn't he, Prince of Peace, Son of God, isn't he, isn't he wonderful? Wonderful, isn't he? Counselor, Almighty God, isn't he? Isn't he? Isn't he? Isn't he? Our list of favorite Christmas gifts includes things like dolls and toy cars and trucks and games. As we grow older, that list changes to the gifts of family being together and being able to share with those we love. For believers, the gift that has always been at the top of our list was given more than 2,000 years ago. Because of it, our world is different. Our lives are changed. Grace and mercy, hope and peace have flowed from Jesus down through the ages. And they reach us today. He still speaks through his word, pours out his love, and extends his offer of life to anyone who wants to receive it. Oh. 
Because we know Jesus, our greatest privilege now is to do our part in passing the gift along. Through our testimonies, our songs, and especially the lives that we live, we offer this gift to others. It's like a present we have chosen carefully and wrapped, anticipating the moment that whoever we gave it to will open it and exclaim, oh, that's just what I wanted. Together, we look forward to the moment we will come into his presence and thank him for all he has done for us. There was a holy rush all over as I walked into the room And as I stood before him face to face I was gloriously made new There was a great and awesome presence And the light as bright as day And as I bowed to kneel with the angels I heard the Spirit say As I looked at those around me with their hands uplifted high, the Spirit laid His hands on me and I uplifted mine. We were singing hallelujah, praises to His name, and as I bowed to kneel with the angels, I heard the Spirit say, So here's your Christmas gift, meant especially for you, prepared with you in mind, sent to prove that God loves you. Maybe this is your Christmas to reach out and accept it. Maybe this is your year to say, thank you, God, for the gift of your son. Now I'll do my part to make sure the gift goes on. Oh, okay. 
We're going to sing Carol of the Bells. If some of you that have sung before want to come up and join with us, we'd love to have you on Carol of the Bells. Come on up. Come on. Come on. Come on. Page. That's good. Come on. Join in. Find a spot for Carol of the Bells. The ushers are passing out those uh, reminders. As you heard in our story today, the gift truly goes on. The, the shepherds heard a great story. They went out and told it. Well, all of you are shepherds. You need to go out and tell the story of Jesus' love. Ready? Everybody ready? All right.
our actors and actresses will step out for her to give one picture of the car. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for getting that. Perfect. We work I knew which one it was, and then I moved them around, and now I forgot. You. <laughs> 